All right, Dave, we got to do it. We, uh, we, we spared the folks this week because we had lined up Sufjin and Sylvan Esso and Fleet Foxes potentially. It was just going to be a whole half hour of sad boy review. Um, mm. we, we cut it down because, no that. yeah, we, we don't want too many people crying while they listen to the podcast. It's not a good way to, to get the word out there about us. Um, so instead, we're going to just talk about Fleet Foxes releasing their fourth album, Shore. Um, the surprise the drop. Yeah, surprise drop. Um, dropped on the Autumnal Equinox, which is mm-hmm. uh, so very Robin Peckinhole. I, I can't even like describe how on brand that is. Um, follow up to 2017's Crack Up, which received a lot of great reviews. You know, Dave, uh, I, lis- I really listened to... I've only listened to a couple Fleet Foxes before recently, and then I, I went through all the albums in order to to make sure I was going into this with a clear head. Um, I, I started uh, smoking hand rolled cigarettes. I started taking walks through the woods aimlessly. Um, Big American um, spirits guy right here. <laughs> yeah, I started wearing overalls. There was a lot, a lot of uh, changes in my life listening to these albums. Uh, man, sure. And Fleet Foxes in general, I really appreciate them for exactly what we just talked about with Village Village. When they make an album, it's incredibly cohesive. I think it flows together so well. And I almost struggle to pick apart, uh, to pick certain songs from the albums because I usually just feel like they kind of flow together as a whole. I thought that continued on shore. This felt like a lot more optimistic of an album compared to Crack Up, especially. Um, a lot warmer than most Fleet Foxes are, but the thing is, it's it's really deep folk. Like this is folk rock to the extreme. And if you like, like I know you aren't, Dave, a fan of folk rock or into that real indie scene, it's gonna be tough to get through. How did you feel listening to it, though? I did. I didn't dislike it. I thought it was fine. <laughs> Um, and that, that, that's because it ultimately just reminded me of elevator music. Wow, <laughs> like really? I, I could totally hear Yeah, because to me, this actually sounded really samey. It's like I had a hard time really like locking in on a song because they all reminded me of the same vibe mm. for the most part. And, and there's some exceptions. But yeah, it's kind of that like light, inoffensive folk music. And even if it has some, you know, more pointed lyrics the instrumentation is is in such a way that it's kind of just easy going i mm-hmm. guess you could say so yeah i i didn't really mind it but i'm i also don't have a lot of exposure to fleet fox i really just knew about them as the band that used to have father john misty in them <laughs> yeah and uh i i think if you're a casual you know listener or, or... Uh, not really into that scene that makes sense because Father John Misty has probably gotten a lot more commercial attention than Fleet Foxes. The thing is, like, every album that they've made, I, I think, is structurally, uh, sonically, lyr- lyric-wise, excellent. Um, and that that continues on shore. I think this is really quality song writing and, and craftsmanship. But I agree with you. I think a lot of the songs do just kind of run together i think it can sound very samey at a lot of points but i did find myself really enjoying uh, again like the the more warm sound on this you know you do have a couple of of songs that are a little bit sadder a little bit colder songs like the the title track shore um songs like uh for uh i can't read my own handwriting here that's not good for a week, oh, or, for two. A week or two yes um but then you have songs like Sunblind, which I, I think is really good. Can I believe you? Um, had that almost like sun drenched folk sound to it. Um, you know, uh, waiting in waist high water, uh, which I believe is the intro track. Yeah. Um, sounds very triumphant. Starts out cold and kind of comes through it triumphantly. Um, there was a couple songs where like horns kind of came in and made this sound very. Uh, I don't know, just like a little bit more upbeat. And I really appreciate that because I think one of the knocks for me with Fleet Foxes is they're usually talking about depression, anxieties about the world, and it can sound a bit heavy. So having a little bit lighter of a tone on this was 
was welcome. Any uh, any songs stand out to you? Anything that you actually liked? I liked Young Man's Game and Quiet Air slash Gioia. Those ones made my ears perk a little bit. But yeah, I, I didn't didn't really dislike anything. I just didn't lock in too much either. Yeah, but easy to listen to. Fair enough. Um, Fleet Foxes, uh, a band that I think um, well well regarded, but not well uh, listened to. So if you haven't checked them out, give them a listen to see what you think, and drop us a, a comment below. 